You guys know, in the summer window, we can make three signings. And in the January window, we can only make the one. But currently, it's October 29th. And we're not in the summer window or the January window. So surely that means we can go in and sign Gareth Bale. He's in the free agent. He's 80 rated. He's 33. And he has some decent wages. We can definitely afford him. He's not the quickest anymore. 78 acceleration. 74 sprint speed. He may only be here half a season. But our only backup for the winger is Schlupp. Yes, Elise can play there. Yes, Boadu can play on the left and do a good job, but he would be a good rotation player. The January window is right around the corner. That'll be next episode. We have £22 million to spend, so get your suggestions in the comments for who we should sign. Another big episode ahead, guys. We may even sign Gareth Bell at some point, so drop the like, subscribe if you're new, turn the bell on, and let's get into it. Last episode's player of the episode goes to Asensio. Finally, someone but Edward winning it. Asensio was class last episode. Hopefully, he keeps the form up. Before we get to comments, you guys can see on the screen, Marco Asensio in 10 games has got seven goals. As you guys know, the first season objective is to get eight goals with him before January. So as he's only one goal away, I'm going to adjust that to 12. He needs to get five more goals, and he may even do that in the next five games. First comment is from this dude saying, Bench Elise. As he is way better at the moment and better with link up play, Boadu and Elise will be good super subs each game because of their pace. You guys know I have been rotating Elise and Eze in and out each game to try and get Elise's fitness, sharpness, and make sure he keeps that potential. He's got 86 potential and he needs to start growing in rating. If we're here next season for season three, then we want this guy to be the same rating as Eze. Pretty sure Eze has now reached his potential or maybe even gone over it. I think it's 82. But with 86 potential for Elise, even if we end up playing him on the right or maybe eventually Sal, Eze, I don't know. But I really want to make the most out of Elise, so I will continue to rotate him with Eze. Next up, we have this dude saying, do you realize you don't have any European football in Season 2 despite finishing 7th? The cups do affect qualifications. Of course, if someone in the Champions League or Europa League didn't get top four but won that competition, then it does affect us who finish seventh or sixth or fifth or wherever we were for Conference League, Europa League, whatever. So it's very annoying, but it means we can get through this season a lot quicker. And we're also in the top four. We're currently fourth, nine games in 17 points. And we're playing some good football. We're definitely better than last season defensively going forward. The midfield we're playing a lot better so i expect us to stay in this top four race as long as possible we may drop down to fifth or sixth at one point but look who's behind us we have liverpool chelsea spurs and even united at 10 so we've got a lot of big teams good teams with great players below us who will eventually start picking up points today's episode objective comes from this dude saying score two goals with midfield players in played games or if we don't do that swap your midfielders for your fullbacks. I'm guessing that's for a game. I like that suggestion though. I am going to adjust it slightly though. Two goals with your midfield players in played games. We'll probably play two or three games in today's episode, maybe even four. But I'm going to set it to we have to do it in one game because it's very possible we're going to score with Eze, Nunes or Kekere all in the same game. Our first game is against Leicester. They're 11th in the league. Therefore, we will sim this game. Our squad is looking so strong. We're at home. Surely we get three points. It's a 3-0 win. A goal for each point. Boadu coming off the bench. Asensio and Gui. Gui. Pronunciation police are in the comments. Same as our next game. Villa, they're 10th in the league. We're away, but this time we should have probably done this last game because we were at home. We're gonna play Elise and Sakam. We all know. Oh, I've, I've gone into quick sim or sim match. Right, we want to jump to result. A 2-1 win. Nunes and, and Nunes both scoring. It's not a played game so it doesn't count we have chelsea now and we will play this game it's at home we're second in the league right now with 23 points and chelsea are fourth on the same pointage if that is a word if not i've just made one up and i will continue to use it all strength side all fit we're gonna start Eze over elise we'll sub him on in the second half same as Bodu, but massive game here ladies and gentlemen it's match day i know you guys in the comments say that bryden is palace's rivals i'm guessing that's that's a little bit of a forced rival because they're like similar size clubs in the league, like similar place in the table. But who is Palace's actual rival? Is it like Wimbledon or someone? I know they shared the stadium. Who is it? Is it someone actually in London? Is 
Zaha coming forward with the ball. Counter attack. He's got the speed. Where are we going? We're going to go on the outside. Zaha. He's kept the ball nicely. Still Zaha. He's being tackled by Edward. You're kidding me. Chassis getting a feel of the ball now. Coming forward. Have that. It's the Kaku. Good position. Going to hit one on that left. But keeper didn't get a hand to it. And I was a little concerned. But why the post? Tell you what. When we play Chelsea, Havertz, Werner and Lukaku are such a big threat coming forward. Here he is, Lukaku. Oh, that's a great tackle. Right, second half and first half, nothing really happened, did it? Both teams going at it slightly. No real clear opportunities for either team. Here's Kakare coming forward, though. Oh, there's space opening up. Still Kakare. Just going to hit it from this angle. It's blocked. This formation they play is extremely frustrating to play against. It just is. The way Lukaku is with his positioning and Werner with his movement, Havertz, it just, it works very well. Here's Kakare. We could slip that to Eze. Now Edouard. Yes, Edouard. Nice strength. He's kept the ball. Wow, he's so good. Here's Edouard still. Just going to hit it. Why am I hitting it at the most stupid angles? It's Timo Werner. Slip that to Lukaku. Ball out wide and go. Lukaku has got that left foot. Now Lukaku also has that left foot. And it's a good tackle. Okay, we've got 20 minutes to play. And, and nothing really has happened. I guarantee something does happen. When do we ever play and get a draw? A nil, a nil draw specifically. Bodu and a Lizero. Oh, that's a ball to N'Golo Kante. Here's Havertz, Kante, come on, Rosier has been solid this season defensively and he continues to be solid, but he literally just gave them the ball. Good save, keeper. Oh, no. Oh, no. You're kidding me. Just like that. From a corner, comes in, goes back to the halfway line. They build up the play and nobody is marking or organized. It's terrible, terrible, terrible. Look at that. What is Kakare doing? For one, why is he marking him? He's hammered that top corner and Chelsea are winning one now. Well, at least the atmosphere is still good. They've hit the post. They've hit the post. We are lucky there. If we want to get a point, we have to be thankful for that post. Edouard's making the run. Is, is Nunes coming forward? Boadu wants to make that run. Do we go to him? We'll just go to him now. Here's Boadu out wide. What can he offer? Onto that right foot. Going into the box. Can we get that penalty? Boadu. Still Boadu. This is good. What are we doing? What am I doing there? That was terrible. That was so bad. The dribbling. I don't know where I'm going. Could have hit it. Tried to get a handball. Nothing went right. And now they're passing the ball well. Controlled. It's... Come on. Kakarate. One. Oh, we can't even get the ball there. And it goes out. Yeah, that is whistle. No points, not a draw, not a win. That's an absolute L to Chelsea at home. Well, thankfully, we have Norwich up next to uh, to hopefully get the three points. We're going to start Bodu on the left-hand side this game. Get Elise playing at number 10 as well. Away from home, Norwich probably bottom of the league, 17th, I think. It's a 2-1 win. Bodu and Kakure. So there's Newcastle now, 14th in the league. At home this time, not rotating. Should be another win, a 2-1 win. We're loving these 2-1 wins. As and Edward. Now, don't forget, guys, Bardo's on loan. Not a loan to buy, just a one year. Looking at it, editing last episode, I should have said it as just a two year loan, but we would run the risk of them recalling him. Perhaps at the end of the season, we'll buy him. Probably will be 82, 83 rated by then if he keeps this form up. In nine games, he has five goals, but Asensio, eight and five assists in 15. He's doing well. Edward not doing as good as last season, or probably on the same track. He didn't have an amazing fast half of the season. He's got six goals, one assist in 14. And now we've got this dreaded fixture. Liverpool fifth, a point behind us. If they beat us, we go out the top four. Crash straight out of it. I really, really don't want to be losing this game. I'm not going to start Zaha. I'm going to start Bardo on the left. I feel we do more when we do that. We're going to start Eze. Massive game. They've got a solid side. Nunez, Koke, Kawadi, Calabria. That's a strange signing, but we need to play well here. It's a big, big change to make. Boadu on the left-hand side, but I trust he can do it. So up against Calabria. Onto that right foot. Boadu. What can he do? Hopefully a lot better than last game. Boadu. 4-1-0. Boom. There we go. Goes past them all. Instant impact. It's 1-0 Palace. Of course, we're at Anfield. It would be incredible to uh, to not lose 6-0. I would take a draw. I'm not too sure what it would do for top four. I think we'd remain. I mean, Bodo's making another big run over the top. Calabria, I'm so glad we're playing against him. I feel like he's got some mistakes in him. Is Nunes for lift ball there. Fast counter-attack. Mohamed Salah, they've kept hold of him. Here's Mane in the box. Nunes, Nunes, good save by the keeper. We've got a run up. 
It's Marco Asensio. I would prefer someone else. Just going to go as far as we can run with Nunes here. We could even hit it. Nunes, shall we cross it? Dink it up in the box. Incoming player. Cleared badly. Edward hits it. And that is a terrible temp. No, it's a corner. It's a, it's a corner. It was blocked. It's fine. Edge of box. Comes to Kakare. Looking for that handball. Just going to hit one. Oh, it's a good hit. And it's a good save by Alisson. He is hit that well. Almost forgets the ball. He hits it. Nearly hits a hand. That's why we did it. And that is a great save. We're in fact going to do the exact same thing right now. Kakare winding one up. He's got a good shot. He's actually got a good left foot. These shots are powerful and direct. Mohamed Salah passed up. No, no. Nope. Big hit. Oh, we got... oh, you're kidding me. You're kidding me. The luck there. I would have been so annoyed if that went in after that great first save. Look at that. It comes off his leg. What a double save by the keeper. So far, man of the match. Should have been one all. Corner whipped in. Don't wreck it. By conceding a corner Goal line clearance. What do we do? Another big save. This keeper is on fire. Just get that ball out. Clear it. Get it gone. Salah. Nunez. Salah. Oh, you get oh, he's onside as well. It's Mohamed Salah. Look at this. He's just hammered it past the keeper. The keeper has dived early again. I know I bring the keeper out, but you're stupid if you don't. You need to make the target as small as possible. Right, is this sent to out wide? A little pass there to Eze. Back out to Asensio. Straight back in the box with a cross. That's a great cross. Boy, do a 2 1. What a bit of play. He scored two goals. This guy's going to bench Zaha. I'm telling you, this guy's benching him. Absolutely incredible. Comes into the box, wanting to header it. And bang. What a header that was. He's definitely a striker out on the left. I tell you that. He is class. What a goal. It's 2 1 at Anfield. Kakura. A ball out to Boadu. Oh, he's absolutely... Oh, he's put him on the ground there. He has put him on the ground. How about a little onto his right foot? Going to wind one up. Oh, you're kidding me! What a hat trick before half time. This guy is incredible. We don't need to worry about playing him. They might just recall him anyway because he's world class. Look at that. That is incredible. For the hat trick before half time. Have you seen Zaha do that? That is the question. Maybe Elise needs to hand his number seven over to this guy. He put Calabriera or Calabria, have you say his name, on the absolute floor. He's going to wind one up again here. A good save keeper. I mean, the question is, how much would he be at the end of the season to buy this guy? Right now, it'd probably be 30 to 40 million pounds. Oh, little dink there. What was that? Oh, big opportunity for Liverpool. Goes to feet. Well done, keeper. We could even perhaps buy Bardo in January and buy him when he's at 79 rated. Maybe sell someone like Schlupp to make that possible. Possible, get 30 million. I'm not too sure how much it costs, or even we end up selling Zaha. That's a big ball in behind for Mohamed Salah. Is Nunez, and that's a massive tackle. Is Boadu a nice pass there to Nunez? Big ball in behind to Edward. Can he get a goal? It's been a while. A Sensio header. It's gone in. It's gone in. How is it? Edward not scored that. I don't know. A Sensio with the header, though. Just about nearly a goal line clearance. A a replay of Allison stacking it. And we will bring on Eze. We will bring on Mariba. I feel sorry for Zaha, so we'll put him on the right hand side. Oh, Mitchell. Masala's got the better off him. Surely that's a goal. Yeah, it's a goal back for Liverpool. It's 4 2. We've got 12 minutes to go. They've definitely uh, not got back in this. But we've got the three points. If we don't, then you won't be seeing this video. Birdie with the sliding tackle as well. Oh, he's, he's just class. He's absolute class. He's, he's now my favourite player. But uh, oh, if, if he got through that as well. Oh, no. Is Salah in behind? Is Mohamed Salah? It, we, no, knowing us, we could actually bottle this. We could actually bottle it. Do not bottle this. Do not bottle it. What a save by the keeper. Right, Boadu, can he do it? Oh, big ball, he is on side. Here's Zaha, can he get a goal? He will want to get a goal. Zaha, yes, he's got his goal. It's a 5-2 win against Liverpool. Zaha bench for Boadu, he scores a hat-trick in 45 minutes, but Zaha comes on on the right-hand side and grabs a goal. He will be happy for that. He needed that. And that will be the end of things here at Anfield. It's a 5-2 win. The away fans are going crazy. And Boadu collects. 
deflects that match ball off the referee. Four attempts on target. Three goals. What a game. We get a 3-1 win against Fulham. Asensio, Asensio and Eze. Surely Bodu should have started after that last game. Our next fixture is ninth in the league, Manchester United. We would normally sim a ninth in the league team if it wasn't Manchester United. You guys know we have uh, we have some problems when we play Manchester United, to say the least. If we start Bodu on the left-hand side, we should be good. This team is looking very, very good. It warrants the season we're having. At least there's now anyone rated. A couple of you guys are probably thinking, how are you so dominant in the top four? You've just beaten Liverpool, but look at this squad. We're at a point now where this is very much so good enough to finish top four. Oh no, we've just headed it to Cristiano Ronaldo. Here, we, here he is in the box. He's got the, uh, the footwork out. That's a nice ball, and Kakarate does really well there. Oh, that's a back hill and a half. Here is Eze on the ball. Come on, Edouard, get running. That's a big ball in behind. Two by two. He's going to slip that straight in the box. Perhaps his left foot for crossing isn't great. That's a great kick by the keeper. Here's Eze. He doesn't have the momentum to continue, so we'll pass that to Nunes. Pull that back. Eze, flick that out wide to Asensio. Going to wind one up, hit one. Oh! What a goal by Marco Asensio on his right foot. That is surely the best goal of this episode. That is an absolute thunder off a hit. My goodness me, look at that. He has hit that all right. What a goal by Marco Asensio. I mean, what a way to go 1-0 up. Here's Marco Asensio again. Just going to cross one in. Boadu back post. Wins the header. He's just dominant. He is incredible. Big ball over the top. We can clean that up with Big G. We'll just call him that. Nunes, enough of massive ball over the top for Asensio. That's great. Takes Whee! it down. Oh, he's taking that down well. Here's Marco Asensio. There's a gap. Going to hit one. Handball. Handball. Yes, get it. It's a handball by Rafael Varane. And that is a penalty. Half an hour in at Old Trafford. It's all going wrong here for United. And it's all going right for us in today's episode. Edouard, he, he takes the penalty. He is the penalty taker. We are going to smash this. Green it out. Oh, yes, get in. I thought we messed that up. I thought it hit the bar. No chance it's going in, but that's a great penalty by Edouard, the main man up front. Incredible penalty. Really good job we green that out. You're not stopping that. You are not stopping that. That is a, that's a class penalty, a world-class penalty. It's passed by Asensio. Now, as a big ball in behind, we are playing some class football this episode. Look at that to Edouard. Bay with the tackle. Cristiano Ronaldo, oh, that's a big ball. I'm pretty sure he's on side as well. Marcus Rashford in the box. Big opportunity for United here. He sat us down. Cristiano Ronaldo. It's away somehow. We've got a couple of minutes till the break. Just going to put that back to the keeper and get that cleared. Taking a look at United's side. Brandon Williams. I actually want to take a look at that side. I reckon we have a better side. Rashford, Ronaldo, Alanga, Van der Beek, Levitt, Palinha, Williams, Bailey, 78 rated, Varane, Kappa, Dyer. We have a better team. Cristiano Ronaldo is 88 rated, 83 for Rashford, but we do. We have a better starting 11. Not a surprise that Manchester United are ninth in the league and we're about 20 games in. Oh no. Oh, what a safe keeper. Great opportunity there for United. Corner whipped in. It's big. Keeper. Oh, you could have caught that. Kakarate. We have someone on the last man. Big ball over the top. It's Asensio. Big header to Boadu. Here he comes. What a touch that is. Here he is, Boadu. Onto that right foot. Just going to hit it. Finesse it. Oh, there's no way. There is no way. I need to show you guys. You're probably thinking your sliders. They're incredible. Where are the sliders? That's theirs. This is ours. Look at our shot. Look at everything. New viewers probably thinking this guy's got a shot error of like 10. No, I don't think Zaha would have done that, by the way. It's this guy, Boadu. How have we never used this guy before? What a hit. We failed with the fake shot. He didn't do what I wanted him to. And he has hit that top corner. What a hit. Oh, Rosier, can he? Oh, what a tackle. What a tackle. We're just overall playing better than we ever have before. Rashford, oh, he's absolutely done us there. Chip that up. I nearly said the uh, the word where you don't concede a goal. Can we do it? Here's Ronaldo. No. Yes, it's for us. I thought that was a penalty. No, oh, keeper's absolutely dumb Ronaldo there. No. Okay. Now he's passed it straight to Sancho. Why are you not starting Sancho? Here they're on the box. Big shot. Tackle. Whatever that was. It's a save. 
Oh, wow. Oh, there it goes. There's the clean sheet gone. Bruno Fernandes. Sorry, but how they've probably played some United Thursday night football, probably. Uh, I mean, what day is it? Does it tell us what day it is? December 14th. I don't know what day that is. It's a goal by Fernandez. Perhaps they were all tired. If so, why bring them on 3 0 down? No, oh, Cavani. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. You're joking. You're joking. Now Cavani comes on and does that. If we bottle this game, if we bottle this game, I'm going to be furious. We need Bardu on the ball. 15 minutes to play. Come on, Bardu. Get going. Here he is in behind. He's going to get there. Fake shot onto that right foot. You know he can hit it from here. Still Bardu. Still Bardu. What on earth was that? What did he just do? Get it back out to Bardu. Here he is. Whee! The main man. Oh, you're joking. That is me just dribbling. I didn't even do a skill move. And it's done one. Onto that right foot from this angle. Still Bardo. Still Bardo. To put the final nail in the coffin. Bardo. Nope. Near post. What a save to hair. Edge of box. Can we get a penalty? A set piece to win it. Kakare. Handball. He's hit one. Another good set. He is solid. Uh, shots from this angle. We'll do it again. Edge of box to Kakare. It's a good touch. Hit it on his right, not his left. Oh, no. United. Come on, please, please, please. Do not, do not draw this. Bodu making a run. Big ball over the top out wide. Bodu with the touch onto that right foot. Come on, get forward. Bodu has kept the ball. Still Bodu, still Bodu to finish it off. He's hit it. Asensio, keeper punches it. Asensio with the header. Comes out to Eze. Puts it back post in the box. Big header. Comes out. Kakare, can he win the header? And that should be it. That should be game. The three points for us cleared. And there we go. There it is. We couldn't get the fourth, but we do get the win. Three to an Old Trafford. We've got Wolves now. We'd normally actually play this, but because Jana is right around the corner, we'll play Elise at Cam. He's now Eddie one rated, as I mentioned. We lose 3-1. Oh, dear me. Edward with the goal. Modeste, whoever that is, and Adama Traore. That is a big L. Bottom half of the table, Barnley now. And because it is bottom half, off the table. We're not going to rotate. We're just going to go and get the three points. We're away from home. Come on, Palace. It's a draw. You're kidding me. What a way to end the episode with a draw against Burnley. We have Chelsea next and they are top of the league. They are clear by six points. We are third. We're two points clear from fourth despite just getting a draw and a loss. We are doing well, folks. We have one more game until we are in the January window. We have 22 million to spend. Get your suggestions in the comments. I did forget to sign Bale. But to be fair, he is now 78 rated. Is it even worth signing this guy? It wants sporadic. If we could get his wage real low, just a one-year deal. I'm saying if we were to offer this guy 50k, what are they saying? They'd come in and want 61. Is it even worth signing this guy? If they don't accept this, we're not signing him. 50k a week, 120k. No, we're not signing him. It'd just be, we wouldn't play him. We don't rotate enough anyway to even play Schlag. So I feel this squad is strong enough as it is. If he was still 80 rated, we're going for him. But he's, he's 78 now and he's 33. We'd probably have trouble getting rid of him at the end of the season. If you guys have enjoyed, leave it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Turn the bell on so don't miss a future video. In the top left of your screen should be a video that YouTube recommend you watch.